Now our second match as we go into the second division for Charlton Athletics' visit yesterday to Newcastle. Charlton without Mick Flanagan, who's in dispute with the club, and without Derek Hales, who's injured, so they're a little bit under strength. But what an entertaining game it turned out to be. Covered by Time Tees Television, Roger Thames is the commentator, Charlton in the plain shirts. Mattress. Martin. Brownlee on the overlap. With in the middle. Shipley is with him though. Still Brownlee. It's a good turn and that's a penalty. That's a penalty. Alan Chole had turned so quickly there. Right inside the box. Brought down immediately. There's no doubt about that one. That must be a penalty. Shoulder against Jones. No mistake. No mistake. Alan Shoulder's third goal of the season. He tucked it coolly in the bottom left-hand corner. Nicky Johns went the wrong way, had no chance at all. Peacock. It's a bit of trouble there. It's the equaliser. A slack bit of work there by Kenny Mitchell. Let's in Charlton Athletic for the equaliser. He'll be very, very annoyed with himself about that one. And it gives Steve Britt the chance to pull one goal back for Charlton Athletic. Yeah, Mitchell with his free kick. That's totally wasted, though. Put out by Brisley. Natras. Pushed into space for Hibbert. Brownlee going up outside him. Walker, shoulder running across the box. Walker, will he try one? Can't get the room for the shot. Again, for Brownlee wide on the right. We're pushing by with, no. Chance now for Martin. Oh, what a soft goal. Mick Martin gets the goal for Newcastle. It wasn't a particularly well-struck shot. Nicky Johns got down to it and it just bobbled over his forearms and into the net. Well, the crowd are beating for handball, but it's broken for Newcastle anyway. Shoulder now popping up on the left. Walker in support. Only got with ahead of him to aim for. But he finds him. Patient bit of build-up here by Newcastle. Martin the chance to put it into the box. Brownlee another chance. It's a nice one too there. Brownlee, oh! Oh, Nicky Johns nearly let in another one there. John Brownlee shot from a very oblique angle and Johns was in the right position at the near post, but uh, somehow or other the ball just slithered past him. Unfortunately, Dave Shipley was there. Kenny Mitchell just about wins that one. It's another foul there. Peter with, he's getting so used to punishment this season, he's such a willing worker. Shibley, the man tight on him, committing that foul. Walker chips it in. That's in. Kenny Mitchell looks delighted, and no wonder. Well, Nigel Walker's free kick floated in there, nice and high. Kenny Mitchell comes in, gets up highest of the lot, and that's it, 3-1 in the lead now. Now it's Powell. Getting the free kick, Brownlee penalised. Finds him with the red flag, Mr Ray fairly going on the pitch, telling him exactly where to put the free kick. Peacock with it. And it's in. Well, how did that one get through from Dave Shipperley? Keith Peacock lifted the free kick right across that Newcastle defence. It came all the way and in came Dave Shipperley at the back and knocked his header back across Steve Hardwick. It's 
So early touch for Nicky Johns. He's had an eventful first half, if nothing else. Now he's got the added problem of having to kick the ball into the wind. Does very well with that one. Conley a nice pick for with. The shoulders in the middle. The support arriving through Connolly. Wood still has to turn this ball across. He does. Martin! That's there by shoulder. Newcastle United get the second half underway just as they got the first. We've delayed his cross. Over it came. Martin knocked it back across the face of the goal. There was Alan Shoulder nipping in to score his second goal of the game. Shoulder getting stuck in there, winning that one. Yet again, Shipperley and with battle for it. Shipperley wins this time. Berry. Sure, Berry's on for the return if he wants it. It's going to Shaw in a bit of trouble here. John Connolly's with a chance. He's taken it. John Connolly, the scorer. Well, he was under pressure all the way as he came through there. Charlton Athletic got themselves in a muddle on the right of the defence, but John Connolly came away with the ball, shrugged off the challenges and put the ball in the net, no trouble at all. Hibbit. Parkinson, the shoulder. Martin, oh, they'll probably get to that one. Sure now. And that's in. Well, that goal came just absolutely out of nothing from Martin Robinson. Pull back Shaw had the ball on the right, seemingly no danger at all. Knocked it inside to Robinson and he let fly. And that was in the back of the net. 